Hey, what's up, guys? It's Limo here. Welcome back to the channel, man. In today's video, we're going to be talking about fake content, fake content creators, reverse boosting, and two boxing, and my stand on that, and why I choose to call out and expose these creators, man. But before we get into the video, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I upload and stream Call of Duty here on YouTube every single day and or as much as I can. So if you guys ever see me live, join my stream and say what's up and let's play. But first things first, the first thing I want to talk about is how I got into the Call of Duty content scene and what I've found out and learned from other creators, about other creators, all that stuff, okay? So for me, I didn't play Call of Duty after Modern Warfare 2019 and I had a little bit of Cold War, but my PS4 died. And when I got my first PC, it couldn't run the newest Call of Duties while recording and streaming. So when Modern Warfare 2 2022 was actually optimized for PC and I could record and somewhat stream it, that's when I started making Call of Duty content. And throughout the last two years, I have learned a lot about the scene behind it for videos, streams, all that stuff. I've heard a lot about creators, pro players, communities, all that stuff, man. And it's wild because I've heard people dox other people about, you know, doing something in game or while in a tournament and or while at an event. I've seen people dox YouTubers over an opinion that they had about Call of Duty. I've seen people lie and manipulate each other that are also both content creators like i've seen a ton of things and all i could say about the call of duty content scene is that it's like any content scene but like it's over a 20 year old franchise and things have completely changed since i've last actually been involved with the call of duty content scene and community and i've realized that a lot of things have changed from back then to now and some things are just not accepted anymore some things are accepted now which i've you know was not expecting like two boxing and reverse boosting right let's talk about it man so i do have a problem with fake content and fake content creators and i don't have a problem with them actually reverse boosting two boxing or vpning my entire problem with it and about them is that they lie manipulate and hide the fact that they do it okay i don't know why they do it it makes no sense why would you spend so much time and effort building a YouTube community channel and making this your full time job just to lie, hide and manipulate others into believing something that's not true? And all you have to do is be honest and truthful to your own community that gives you a living. It makes no sense in real life. You never want to manipulate and or lie to somebody, bro. No matter what position they have or what relationship they are to you, bro, because it's fucked up like it's fucked up to get lied to or manipulated to. Right. And those same logics and principles apply to online gaming and content and social media, bro. Look at Logan Paul. He scammed his fans with his freaking NFT and he lied and he deflected and he tried to hide it. And now his reputation is ruined forever. Like for Mr. Beast, he got exposed for trying to hide comments talking about Chris Tyson and other employees exposing him. And now his reputation is ruined forever. So why would you build a community within Call of Duty? You get so far right further than 99.9% .9 of people just to end your entire reputation and career by lying and manipulating others to believe something that's not true why would you do that you know what i'm saying that's just that's just fucking stupid why do you even need to lie about it i feel like for a lot of people from viewers to other creators and straight up players nobody cares that you reverse boost and or two box some might do some might not but i think a majority of people just don't like being lied and manipulated too and there's a reason why 90% of these creators, when they get exposed and you search up their name, it's all exposed videos on them, bro. It's because viewers are humans, bro. They're not just a number on the screen, okay? They're not just someone that you're talking to through a virtual screen. They are actual humans. Humans in their nature, us as a species, do not like to be lied and or manipulated to by another person, especially someone that we support and watch, bro. This is my stance on two boxing, reverse boosting, and VPNing, and just as a whole, manipulating the matchmaking, okay? This is my stand, okay? I personally do not care if you do it. If you're just a regular player trying to get easier lobbies, I do not care that if you do it, okay? I don't care that you do it. As long as you're honest and upfront about it to other people that you play with, to other people that you game with, that you talk to, and all that stuff to actually, you know, play the game, if you're just honest about it, I'm fine with that. I don't care that you reverse boost two box VPN and or manipulate the matchmaking if you're a regular player. Like I said earlier, my problem is that people lie and hide it. Creators who lie and try to hide that they manipulate the matchmaking are just weirdos, bro. There's nothing to lie about, man. I feel like career-wise, they would be better off if they were just honest. Honesty gets you so far in life, dude. Like, that's all I care about. Just be honest to the people that watch you and that give you your living, bro. All I would rather see is them talk about it in videos saying that they do it in the intro or outro, right? And or the description and or just don't even hide or lie about it. If you're on stream, just fucking show that the guy's joining. 
right? For example, Jay God, he talked about it a couple months ago. He showed how to do it. Marksman doesn't hide it. Another person that does it is C Preds, right? Who's a Warzone creator. He's a teacher that turned into a Call of Duty content creator, which is honestly insane. On stream, he doesn't fucking hide it. All I want to see is just more honesty with these creators, bro. That's all I want to see. The people who two box and reverse boost, I just want you guys to be honest. That's it. That's all anybody wants right now, man. Because, dude, throughout social media, even outside of Call of Duty, there's so many lies being spread about others, about situations, and it's so hard to trust somebody. And when you are able to trust someone through online, that connection is there. It's solid, right? When people figure out that, you know, you get exposed for something and that you're lying, you're manipulating people, they don't want to watch you anymore, man. Like, it's like, just be honest about what you do and don't lie about it or don't try to hide it and don't try to manipulate people into believing a false narrative. And I feel like creators that do lie need to be exposed. I feel like that. Okay. There's a reason why I support the Rick because Rick's the only one that's actually exposing them with full truth. Like people like Call of Shame, I only have really watched Rick, right? And I only stick to YouTubers that I genuinely like. I've been watching Phase Jeff for over almost a decade now, I'm pretty sure, probably over a decade now, right? I've been watching Agent Zero, right? Because he spent the truth for 2K, right? Like I, as a viewer myself, I like when people tell the truth in their videos, man, because it is so hard to find real, authentic, trustworthy content creators on social media, man. If you have to build your entire platform and career off of lies, manipulation, and hiding what you do, then you're a phony. You're a fraud ass phony. If you do anything else after being exposed, right? For example, I hate to bring it up because it's been over a month now, I think, uh, or two weeks. Mark over here was a doxer. There's a reason why he has doxer for his uh, thumbnail, right? Because he's a doxer, bro. And if you don't believe me, I have full proof. I have full fucking proof. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, a lot of really cool camos, bro. <laughs> Some people need to focus on their fiance instead of uh, <clears throat> focusing on some random dudes on the internet. I know Miss wouldn't like that. Do 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 do. So stream just ended, I believe. Stream just ended. All right. We are going to restart this and see if it's still up there. No, he removed it. He removed the entire stream. All right, so the stream just happened and ended literally just now. I just recorded it, right? You click on here, go to Twitch. Nothing is there. Literally nothing. No clips, nothing. We go to clips. You know, literally nothing, right? You go over to YouTube. It is now private. Now private. And then for Seabass over here, he's a liar. He's a manipulator. Three years ago, he said that he just doesn't want people to lie about it. So because of this, people will reverse boost, including myself. I do something not completely as reverse boosting. I still manipulate the system, but I'll show you guys how I do it. It's not completely reverse boosting. It still is, but it's not. So pretty much it is extremely hard to get a gameplay playing against people your skill level. So YouTubers will manipulate the system to be able to get easier lobbies, to be able to upload their content, because if they don't upload really good content, they're not going to stay that relevant. But like I said, it goes to a certain extent. I don't really care if reverse boost i don't really care that i manipulate the system to get slightly easier lobbies it's just when you lie about it that's when it makes it a problem you shouldn't be lying to your viewers saying that this isn't a reverse boosted lobby when it is obviously it is no one should be lying about it like for me i am open to you guys i'll tell you guys i'm joining off players but when you lie about it and put copyright strikes on people's channels when they're trying to expose you that's when it gets to a problem because you are reverse boosting and there's nothing about it so i'm just gonna say this one more time i honestly don't think it's a bad thing to reverse boost i just think it's a bad thing to lie and say you aren't alrighty ladies and gentlemen I'm currently editing the newest video right now this video right here that you're watching I was going to get screenshots and clips of what C Bass has said on reverse boosting and two boxing before this guy said damn you were the only person that I'd watch whenever I wanted to get a good class it's a shame none of the nukes were real bro you're acting like I'm in a private match queuing with the bad player doesn't make the nuke less real dude the bad player is him he's calling himself bad no I'm joking but um dude if you're getting a nuke against bots, bro, like people care about that. Like, would it be impressive if an iridescent player played against an entire bronze lobby? You know, for content reasons, maybe. If you're doing it every single video, 
How the, is that going to be entertaining and to keep a viewership alive, bro? Enough with the botted lobbies, 14 likes. Look at this thread right here. The literally real people, many of my viewers are from gameplays. Well, so about this, I, I'm going to say that he's wrong here. Uh, he does play with viewers. So I'm not going to deny that. But but in order to play with Seabass, not one person, the entire chat has to donate a some amount to do play with subs or something like that. So everyone has to donate a certain amount up until 200 or whatever he sets it at to play with him. Being able to play with Seabass is through a paywall. What the fuck? But being able to play with a weirdo like you, Seabass, for $200 does not seem worth it, dude. And look what this guy said, this absolute goat. At Seabass, as in they are bad as bots, that's what reverse boosting does. It's not reverse boosted. I never chalk my own stats, bro. Reverse boosting's main purpose was to literally get easier lobbies, right? It would just chalk your stats as well, but who cares? No one's going to check it. Two boxing and reverse boosting are the same thing. You guys are trying to get easier lobbies and manipulate the matchmaking. That's what both two boxing and reverse boosting does. And reverse boosting is seen as cheating. And two boxing does the same thing. So why would that not apply as well? Make it make fucking sense. Are you fucking stupid? This one as well. Childish deleting comments. I'm being harassed with people saying I'm cheating when I'm clearly not. So manipulating a game system, a matchmaking system is not cheating, guys. Okay. Two boxing is not cheating. So yes, I'm going to delete comments that are spreading a false narrative. I'm sure there are plenty of times where you have been asked if you two box or reverse boost or manipulate the matchmaking. You've said no. And then right here, he says, you guys do realize the SBM is so cranked this year that scum doesn't even have one nuke. Who gives a fuck? He says, you need a nukeable lobby for content creation. Full SBMM doesn't allow for that. So if you're not that good, just say it, bro. Just say it. Like, okay, you hit your desk, but you're still not good enough to make content, dog. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe have more of a personality and choose a different niche, dog. I don't know. Maybe expand into something else. You have over what? 100K subs. I feel like that's possible, dude. Come on, man. Think of something more. Bro, you put yourself in this position by not expanding. You stick and get comfortable and try to lie, manipulate, and hide what you do. And this is what you fucking get. Lastly, when people say it ruins the other person's experience, no, it doesn't. Stop being soft. It's literally one game and they can back out whenever. That's true in the last part. But dude, no one's being soft. You're being softer by deleting comments. You are the softest YouTuber I've ever met, dog. I think a lot of people just don't understand that cheating is not just wall hacks, aimbot, you know, all that stuff. Cheating is literally manipulating the game to gain an advantage. People like Seabass that manipulate the game are cheating. If you manipulate a system that is cheating the system, right? Make it fucking make sense, people. God damn. But here are my final thoughts on everything, man, okay? Content creators that lie, manipulate, and hide the fact that they do two box reverse boost or VPN. We need to expose them. We got to keep exposing them, man. We got to keep calling them out and we got to make a change within the Call of Duty content scene. The people that actually do do it, that are not content creators and or that are honest about it and open about it and don't lie and or try to hide it. We should be happy that they are honest with us. You don't have to support them, but at least be happy that they are not lying to you, man. Okay. I do consider two boxing, reverse boosting and or manipulating the matchmaking as cheating, but I get why people do it. And I'm not going to expose and or call out people that do it. I'm calling out people that lie and manipulate their situation about it. Okay. And that try to hide it. That is my only gripe and problem with two boxing reverse boosting. It's the content creators that are liars, manipulators, doctors, and weirdos, bro. I feel like everyone in the Call of Duty community that has been played and or lied and or manipulated to by these content creators deserves an apology. Hero, you are a doctor. You're a weirdo. And I don't know why you would even do that, bro. Like, it's never that serious. All we were trying to tell you to do is just be fucking honest and you decide to dox someone, bro. Listen, at the end of the day, honesty gets you farther than lying and manipulating people. And I hope in the next coming years that I'm a part of this community that I do Call of Duty content, that things change and that the community and behind the scenes gets better, man. Because of the things I have seen, heard, and learned about creators, other creators, about how things work around here is just ridiculous, bro. But yeah, it's been your boy Limbo though, guys. I love y'all. Peace.